It's the 2021 Rose Lady Series Grand Final at Bearwood Lakes. They've doubled the winner's check to £20,000 and Liz Young and Gabs Cowley, already multiple winners this season, can take home the Slink Slam bonus of £50,000 if they get the victory. Never in my wildest dreams did I think, you know, two years ago that a one day event and I could be earning 70,000 uh, in one day. That's life changing. Uh, it's a life changing amount of money. But I'm just going to take one shot at a time and what will be will be. First prize especially is big money. So it is a big life changing money this week, uh, especially with the bonus. Whatever happens, happens. Just going to try and enjoy the day as best we can. There's a lot of focus on three-time winner Cowley and two-time winner Young as they hunt that Slink Slam bonus for winning two regular events and the grand final. But there's a huge incentive for all the players with that increased winner's check and the prestigious title of Rose Lady Series grand final champion up for grabs. Talia Martin is in good form, having finished second and sixth in the two previous events this week. Hopefully it keeps on carrying on. As you know, golf is very inconsistent, but hopefully I keep, keep on going and hard work and everything like that. And yeah, no, it does give confidence for next year. And just to be able to get the experience like um, the Rose Series have made me for this year, it's just, yeah, really good. Lily May Humphreys finished second here as an amateur last year. That result gave her plenty of confidence and she's made a great start to her pro career this summer. Especially because um, you had people like Georgia Hall, Charlie Hall and Gemma Driver playing and that and seeing how close I was to kind of beating all of them nearly a couple of times and it made me want to turn pro and I knew I was ready and it made me excited to make the step. Bearwood Lakes is 6,264 yards and features tree-lined fairways and water coming into play on nine holes. Oh, it's beautiful, like, it's like very Wobanes sort of type, but no, it's a challenging course and I'm looking forward to it. Last year it was quite firm and dry, but this year the rough's a bit more thick and lush and the greens are a bit more receptive, so it's playing a little bit different, but yeah, it still looks in great shape. I'm really looking forward to getting out there. Young and Cowley pegged it up alongside each other in the final group with Becky Brewerton making up the three ball. Tournament directors Paul McDonnell and Molly Bullard of XL Sports Management watched them tee off. They've done a magnificent job in creating and growing the Rose Lady series over the last two years. Nineteen-year-old Lily May Humphreys had a tough start with bogeys at the first four holes, but she showed her quality with this deft chip at the seventh to save her par. The informed Talia Martin settled into the round with this five-footer for par at the first. It was the first of ten consecutive pars to start the day. Cowley also had a bit of work to save her par on the opening hole. She converted and racked up five more pars before dropping a shot on the seventh. Young got off to a tricky start with a double bogey seven on the second hole, but she repaired some of the damage with a two putt for birdie after this quality second shot on the par five fifth. Chloe Williams circled red numbers on the second and the fifth. She kept a bogey off her card with this par save on the seventh. The 26-year-old from Wrexham got to three under on the eighth and unleashed another cracking shot on the par three ninth. She two putt for the three and a front nine of 33 strokes. Williams has a two-shot lead two-thirds of the way through her round. Former LET winner Hannah Burke and Talia Martin are at one under. Well, Georgia Oboe was amongst the very early starters. It was going along very nicely at level par. Great shot in here on 18. Can she get under par by holding this one? 
Oh, it didn't move an inch. So she taps in. And level par is the very early clubhouse target set by Georgia Oboe. The eighth hole is 283 yards on the card, but it plays a little bit shorter as the crow flies if you go straight for the green. If you choose to do that, we are going over those trees and the deer that are out there as well. The big hitters might be able to get it up close or even chase it onto the green today. The safer way to play it, of course, take an iron or even a hybrid out to the right-hand side. The pin is tucked over on the left as well. So the further right and in the fairway you can go with any lay up the better angle you give yourself to attack the flag stick whether you lay up or pull driver and go over the trees and the deer it's a great scoring opportunity towards the end of the front nine Annabelle Dimmock has chosen to lay up looks like she's given herself a good angle into the pin though tucked over on the left hand side today fires that straight over the top of it. There's not a lot of room between that bunker, even coming in from the right-hand side of the fairway and the flag stick, so a safe play. Can Frankish knock it inside her playing partner? Yeah, she can. She's found that little bit of green as well, and that gives her an uphill putt. Hannah Burke now. That's Chris Foster on her bag, the first ever amputee qualified PGA professional. An excellent shot into the 18th, so she gives herself a chance for birdie to set what will be a very competitive total. Dimmock slightly downhill for birdie on the 8th. See, it was always turning on the low side. And that is a feature of the course here at Bearwood Lakes. Quite a lot of slope and turn on the greens, especially if you get yourself above the hole. So Frankish, the braver second shot, left her below the hole. Can she benefit? being able to be a bit more aggressive. Well, yes, she can. In it pours, and Chloe Frankish goes to one under par. This is that birdie putt for Hannah Burke. It's pretty slow up the hill. And just a foot shy. Tap in, and that completes a really good round for Hannah Burke. 71, one under par. I think she'll be hanging around just in case. Gemma Clues, two over par. And this ninth hole with a pin tucked over on the left, water lurking. You've got to be bang on with your clubbing if you're going at the pin. And she is. That is an absolutely stunning approach. <laughs> Cowley in hunt of that slink slam. She needs to start making some birdies at one over par. And she'll give herself a decent chance on the eighth. Hayley Davis hot off a birdie on the 17th. She set up a very good chance for a birdie birdie finish to get to two under par. Oh, in it goes, fist pump. Great finish for Davies. And that is a 70 in the clubhouse. Birdie birdie finish. Always puts a smile on the face. Well played. So Liz Young. Mike Cowley, struggling a little today at one over, and she hasn't really given herself much of a birdie chance here on the eighth. 
Nicely played, though. Should be enough to get out of there with a par. But very much a hole the players are targeting for birdie. Jay Bowers from long range on the ninth. There is a little tear not too far before the flag stick. It will pick up pace. Oh, and it went in with pace. It needed to hit the flag stick. I think she'd have had a good six or eight feet coming back for her par, but no matter now. It's gone six inches under, and Jay Bowers is back to plus one. Cowley, this could be the putt that ignites her challenge today. But it doesn't get there. Stunning tee shot. Deserves the birdie. And gets the birdie. Been a really good year for Gemma Clues. Picked up the win at Hillside. Back to one over par now in the grand final. That superb finish from Davis has set the clubhouse target at two under par. Young and Cowley are four shots back from the leader, Williams, after eight holes of their rounds. Is that a bridge too far? The Rose Lady Series Grand Final at Bearwood Lakes is still up for grabs. But Gabs Cowley and Liz Young are going to need to find some birdies pretty quickly if one of them is to complete the slink slam. In any walk in life, you need somebody that's going to give you an advantage or, or give you a chance. Maybe sometimes deserve, sometimes not deserve, but a chance. And I think this is a great way to give women who want to be professionals a chance or who are starting their professional career, give them that chance. And if they're able to capitalize on it and build a great career out of it, I think then it's, it's a massive success and, and it's done what it's supposed to. Martin is one of those players early in her pro career, making the most of this opportunity. She made her first bogey of the day on the 14th and she couldn't take advantage of the par 5 16th as her downhill birdie putt came up short. Frankish dropped back to level par with a bogey on 10. She parred the next hole and this brave shot all the way to the back pin on the 12th set up a par 3. Former English women's amateur champion Samantha Giles birdied the penultimate hole. A long birdie effort, never quite looked like going in, but she tied it up nicely for her par on 18 and signed for a 71 that included five birdies and four bogeys. Williams got to minus four with a two on the 14th and she stayed there as this slick birdie attempt on 16 eased past the hole on the low side. A simple tap in for par and Williams leads by two again. Holes are running out for Cowley and Young to catch her and claim the £50,000 slink slam bonus. This is Martin on the penultimate hole. Another shortish par four, similar to the eighth. Decisions to be made. She has chosen to lay up. And it looks to be the right choice. Excellent shot into a tight flagstick there. Williams a touch closer. Well, that's really good. She gave herself an excellent angle so she didn't have to come in over those bunkers. It's just released on a little bit. Clever golf, though. The 14th is a really pretty little par three, playing 157 yards today. And this pin just cut in the front right in a little bowl, slopes in a little from the left. And I'm just coming up a little raised tier in the green here as well. 
They are quite receptive, the putting surfaces, so the players should be able to hit a shot in here and use these banks, either long or just left, to spin the ball in quite close. Bolden facing that tee shot on the 14th. Well, just fly it all the way, get it to stop on the receptive greens to about six feet, happy days. Lydia Hall, she's already finished fifth and 13th this week, playing well on the LET this season as well, so definitely a player in form. That's an excellent chance for a closing birdie. Martin, can she get to two under par? It's been a very steady round. Lots of pars today. And chances are there will be another one. Although that is outside of friendly gimme range. Williams has this tournament by the scruff of the neck. This would get her to five under par. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, and it does. Little fist pump. Wonderful. She's coached by her father, Paul. He can't be here today, but he will be a very keen observer. Paul to finish off with the birdie and get to two under par. Just comes up shy. You do have to be bold with the uphill putts around here at Bearwood Lakes. The 71 for Hall. And that tops off a more than decent week's work on the Rose Lady series for the Welsh woman. Another Welsh player, Bolden, former LET Rookie of the Year. Oh, nice. And an excellent two. One under par for Bolden. Well, that is a great look at the view of that shot into 18. Pin tucked left, bunker lurking. What's Talia Martin got here? She went right at it. <laughs> a pretty you. decent result. She looks happy with it. But that putt is going to be quick. Williams coming from the left hand, first cut of rough, five under par. It's not the best angle to get at that flag stick, especially coming out of the rough. But that is very sensible. Perhaps a hair right of where she would have been aiming, but in the position she's in right now and from the left-hand side of the fairway, centre of the green is all good. Chloe Frankish on this 14th. Seven top tens in 52 LET events in her career so far, just 22 years old. And a great example of the talent there. Another brilliant shot in. Slow up this hill for Chloe Williams. But can she finish with a birdie? It would be the lowest round on the Rose Lady series this year. Well, it went right to left pretty early and kept going. She'll have some work to do as we see Talia Martin shaping up her birdie putt in the background. Deep breath for Williams. Matching visor and shorts. Loving it from Martin. Always has bright clothes on. Oh, and just inches away from a bright finish. She taps in for her par, a round of 71. And another player who has had three really good results. Some great momentum to take into the last few weeks of the season on the LET Access Series for Martin. Frankish for her birdie. Well, wow. 
perhaps a little bit of a pull there, and she does not look best pleased. The left-hander Georgina Blackman playing alongside Williams and Martin. You wouldn't think <laughs> you could leave that short. And <laughs> wow, good evasive manoeuvres from Williams in the background there. That could have been an interesting finish. You definitely want all your teeth left in if you're going to be posing for a photo at the end with the trophy. Still a little bit of work to do before Williams can think about that, though. She's got this five-footer for her par to complete a bogey-free round. Oh, it just catches the left edge and lips out. So it isn't to be a blemish-free card for the girl from Wrexham. But that is still a very, very good 68. Hugs all around. Some excellent golf in this group. That closing bogey won't matter, as it looks like Williams' 68 is going to be enough to seal the title. Frankish was level par through 16, short-sided herself in the greenside bunker on the short 17th, but she hold this spectacular shot from the sand for a birdie. She wasn't finished there, but she sent this superb approach straight at the flagstick on 18. She would hold a birdie putt for a round of two under par. And what about the women chasing the slink slam? Young birdied 13 and 16, but a drop shot at 15, and another went on the final hole. And she made this delicate up and down from long of the green for a five, and a round of 74. It was also a 74 for Cowley. She mixed three bogeys with just the one birdie on the 11th and closed out her round with this 20-footer for par. A rueful smile from the three-time winner this year. Chloe Williams wins the Rose Lady Series Grand Final with a fantastic 68 to claim her first professional title and pocket the £20,000 winner's cheque. My goal's been really consistent this year. Um, just waiting for everything to come together on one day. Um, I've had a few low rounds this year, um, but days like today where, you know, it's a one-day shootout, you've really got to bring your A game and have a lot of luck. So, I mean, today, obviously, I was that person and came out on top, so I'm overwhelmed by everything, to be honest. Williams received her trophy from Justin Rose's daughter, Charlotte, alongside his mother, Annie, and the owner of Bearwood Lakes, Gary Holloway. It wasn't quite to be for Gabriella Cowley or Liz Young in search of that slink slam, but Chloe Williams was a fantastic victor with a four under par round here in the grand final at Bearwood Lakes. That's a wrap on the 2021 Rose Lady Series. Thanks for joining us.